sure to tune in to At Home with Christ Ministries with Julie Thomas, broadcasting Monday nights at 8 p.m. live on LICMC.net radio, Facebook, and YouTube. Good evening and welcome to another edition of the At Home with Christ podcast. So today we're finishing our last installment on anger. And we're going to begin by talking about the word wrath. It doesn't mean a boat wrath. It means wrath. Now this wrath that we are talking about in this last segment is a feeling, a strong feeling that of hatred or resentment. So you may have road rage. You may have uh, some other kind of rage because you think someone has done something to you. And instead of you managing your anger and calming down, you develop a wrath. And you say you have it out for that person. And then you decide to do something foolish. Now, it is said that this type of stuff often lead to other actions. You may be angry towards someone and taking it out of context. So like we're saying, you may be angry at somebody because they accidentally ran your car off the road, they weren't paying attention, they were on their cell phone, they may be doing something else. Maybe they bumped you in line at a grocery store or something else. And then you get angry and you take it out of context because that person did not say what. Sorry. And instead of you calming down, you develop a hatred or some deep-seated angry towards that person. And you, once again, like we say, Say you have it in for this person. So now you, like we've been talking about, want to try to harm this person because you have this deep-seated anger towards that person. Now, is that right? Is that right for you? Is that right for us? To have some sort of deep-seated anger towards someone, to try to take out our anger on someone else instead of calming down. Because whatever you thought you were angry about, really wasn't that bad. Now, if your anger turns into your wrath, this is some sort of engaged sin. Wrath and anger, you got it, are a sin according to the Bible. Now, and a great sin is, as mentioned in the Bible, is when a man, or it could be a woman, can have great wrath and pay the, the penalty. So it's saying if you're a man and woman and you have wrath, today you will pay the penalty for that wrath. So you could have a wrath and you could have somebody else killed and you think that you have gotten away with it. But you, what you have not gotten away with it, it. will have to pay the raft. That person, you will have to pay for your sins for having that person murdered or killed or whatever you you've done with them. And so you have to remember that wrath could mean anything. You could have them robbed, or you could have their car jacked or something. But whatever it is, it is a sin, people. And we are telling you to stop it. Now, we're not saying we're right, you're wrong, but we're just trying to reach out, and we're just trying to help you manage your anger. Now, this is, we said, a man who, with great wrath, will pay the penalty for it. But if you continue to bail them out, guess what? Tomorrow you will continue to bail them out 
next month you'll continue to bail them out. So people, if there's someone you know, they have to, and they have a rap, then let them pay the penalty. Don't try to help them out of their their wrath. Don't try to help them because tomorrow you'll be helping them again and you'll be helping them again. Now, it says here, a hot-tempered person must pay the penalty so that if you get angry because of something, then you have to pay what? The penalty. You get angry, you have to pay the penalty. You have your heart tempered, you still must pay the penalty. And whatever penalty that is. Now, remember that some people can stay in trouble. That is, they can't stay out of trouble. And if you keep bailing them out of trouble, then next month, like we're saying, you will keep bailing them out of trouble. Now, remember that that Proverbs 19.19 tells us if you do not rule your anger, God and man will. So if you can't control your anger and you go out there and you become enraged with your wrath and you say you have it out for somebody else, then guess who will rule it? It will be God and another person. You don't want God and another man to rule your anger for you, do you? So get it together, people. Now, remember this. If you do not rule your anger, God and man will. Remember what I just said that. If you do not rule your anger, someone else will. And then you'll be paying their penalty price. Now, if you help a person who has a bad temper, you will be helping them for months in. Because the one thing with people with bad tempers is they stay hot-tempered. And that is something we don't want you to do. Don't help people with bad tempers because they stay with hot tempers. People with hot tempers, as we're saying, must pay the penalty. So if you get angry, try to cool down. Try to calm down first. Try to do whatever you need to, whatever you do, but don't drag anybody else into your problems. Don't drag anyone else into your problems. Get what I'm trying to say? You get angry about something, try to calm down and try not to take your vengeance out on somebody else because God did say vengeance was his. And lastly, in this part of this part of this portion of this program, we want to say practice peace. If you're angry about something, Calm down, okay? It's not all that important because a lot of times when we get angry over stuff and after you thought about it, you realize the stuff that you were angry about wasn't really worth it. It wasn't worth it? Was it worth it when you got angry and you had somebody else's blood on your hands? Was it worth it when you had you were angry and you had somebody else killed? No, it wasn't worth it. So we just want to tell you in this last part of this uh, program that we are, when we are dealing with anger, to calm down and to remember what we are saying. If you don't rule your anger, if you don't master your anger, God will or someone else will. And until next time, we're going to be talking about starting our next segment on having peace within you because that also deals with anger if you have peace within you then maybe you can control that anger maybe you can master that anger and we'll be talking about that soon thank you
Be sure to tune in to At Home with Christ Ministries with Julie Thomas, broadcasting Monday nights at 8 p.m. live on LICMC.net radio, Facebook, and YouTube. Hello, I am Julie Thomas, and the name of my podcast is <clears throat> it's a World War II Christian podcast for my social media podcast show, which is At Home with Christ. And now I want to tell you about my latest uh, TV show, which is going to be At Home with Christ TV. And uh, you can reach that and you can see all the uh, episodes on Shrimp TV. Sorry, on Shrimp.com. So that you can go to this new platform, which is shrimp.com, and look for At Home with Christ TV under London. It is a fantastic show, and we hope that you will 